Sorry guys, I know I was supposed to be talking about how to achieve good deformations when you're rigging your characters this week, but I am kept very busy with character modeling work, so that will have to be delayed. In the meantime, I would like to talk about an affordable motion capture solution I have came across a while ago that I have finally decided to take my free rest time to try. Glycon is a 69 USD motion capture solution for those who already own a VR headset. I am going to try it on my base mesh born out of the educational materials I have created for this year thus far. Glycon offers full body tracking if you have more VR body trackers but I don't have it so I will show the bar minimum output here which is just as well. Under this setup, only the head and hands are tracked. Everything else is just guesswork by the system, be it the headset itself or the software. As to how that would look like, you are about to see it for yourself and decide if this might be useful for you. It is in my personal opinion that lower body movement extrapolations are rather unnatural. Like when you look down, your entire body will float up a ghost. Hence, I'm going to remove all lower body movements since they are all guesswork anyway. Okay, basic big gestures are not an issue here. That's good. Let's see how twisting motions flare. Back, normal, front, normal, back, normal, front, normal, back, normal. Okay, that's good. Head rotation. Down, normal, up, normal, side, normal, side, normal, down. Now it should be noted that had I not removed the hip animation from the output, the entire body will be floating when I look down. That is not a good thing. Let's do the head roll. Oh hell yeah, that's gonna save so much manual animation time. Fast movement test. Ah yes, the tracking sometimes fail when the controller goes to the back of the headset. This is a limitation of the headset itself and not the software. This unfortunately does mean that you have to keep all your hand movements in front of your face where the trackers can see it. Now it is time to test it for the one thing that I bought the software for. Hand tracking. Because manual hand animation is a nightmare. Oh, this is good. Let's do the fan. Good. Very good. Oh, this is very good indeed. Oh, I can use this. This is gonna save so much time. If only you guys know how much effort it takes to give life to your character's fingers. This software is going to make your characters very expressive because it comes directly from you. Very good. Very good. Typing test. Oh hell yes. Try doing that manually. Let's do the crazy fan thing again. Alright, that's it for the test. Oh, I know for a fact that I'll be using this software in my workflow from now on. Hopefully this information has been beneficial to you. This is Bracer Jack, and I will see you next week.